that's one thing that um, really makes a great entrepreneur is for your ability to realize and recognize an, on, a, a, an entrepreneurial opportunity either outside of a business or within a business. When people ask him what his business philosophy was, he would say these words. He'd say, plan, make, sell, ship, cash, fast. That was what he, basically his whole mantra as a business guy. Plan, make, sell, ship, cash, fast. So when you hear those words, what do you think he was trying to convey by those, those six words? What do you think? The word was hustle. You've got to move in business. If you aren't moving, and especially, and you've got some challenges in the environment that you work in because you have to basically work and live at the speed of the internet. And it changes so quickly. In the day when I was there, for someone to go build a billion dollar software business, it was tough to do. Because the infrastructure and everything, we didn't have what, what's there today. But there's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of things that really equal and level the playing field for small entrepreneurial uh, minds to go out and take a big chunk of the business. And, uh, but you have to move quickly in your business. When you see an opportunity, if you wait, it's over. And when you think you're the only one that's come up with a cool idea, I'll guarantee you there's probably 30 people at least somewhere else in the world around a conference room table thinking the exact same thing you are. And so that means you have to get it done, execute, plan it, make it, sell it, ship it, get the cash in your pocket and do it as quickly as you can. I don't know if there's any better advice for an entrepreneur than I can give than that, that little statement. Um, he taught me something else and as entrepreneurs we're always concerned about equity in our business. We own stock in our company, right? And we want to hold on to that, as much of that as we can. Well, the thing I learned from Ray is, he says, you're going to have to take some money probably in your business. If you don't, you're a genius and, you know, hallelujah, you did a great job. But usually you're going to have to take some capital to grow your business. And you're going to have to give up some equity of your company. And that means some of the ownership. What I found is the great entrepreneurs find out how to do that. They minimize the impact of the business as far as ownership, but they're not afraid to take capital. I can't tell you the number of companies where I've seen founders with their cold, dead hands around a cold, dead company because they weren't willing to take ca uh, capital. They're saying, well, why do we want to dilute? Well, I'm like going, well, why don't want, you want to grow your business? Because you have to grow it as quickly as you can so that you can compete in the marketplace because someone else is going to try and grow their business faster than you grow yours. And the great thing about our the market that we're in here in the United States, it's a free market, it's a capitalistic market, and you know, nobody really cares whether you succeed or not. They really don't. You should care probably more than anybody else. And it's, there's, if you can bootstrap your company and do it on a shoestring, good on you. But most companies have to draw down some capital. And so what Ray taught me was, it's okay to take a smaller piece as long as you can expand the value of the shares of your company. So think about this, your main role as a CEO of a startup company or founder or whatever is to increase the value of the shares of your company. How would you propose, if someone came to you and said, how are you going to increase the value of the shares of your company, what would you tell them? What people value companies most on right now is in the early, early startup phase, you got a great market, you got a good team, and you have something that you can go and monetize that with. As you get down the road a little further, they're going to say, do these guys know how to monetize their technology? Can they really make revenue? And then they'll look and you say, oh, well, we generated a million in revenue. And they go, that's great. I can give you one and a half times revenue on an investment into your company. So then your value is maybe a million and a half on a trailing 12 of a million dollars in revenue. You may be able to inch them up closer to two, but you're going to have to give up some of the value of your company. So what I would tell you, if you're going to take money down, what you want to do is find out how you can get money, but more importantly, how can you get more than just money? So when you look at somebody putting money in, you may have to go talk to Aunt Betsy or somebody to get some friends and family because nobody else will put money in your crummy little company. And Aunt Betsy's not smart enough not to put money in your dumb little company. But at least she's willing, she has more faith in you. Uh, and then you have to worry about the fact that you won't be able to look at Aunt Betsy at the family reunion for the next 20 years because you have blew your company and her money and now she's mad at you. 
Uh, that happens. But I, I think the most important thing is, is that you have the ability to pull some capital down and then go drive the value of your company. Focus on increasing the value of the shares. Get customers, get partnerships, whatever it takes to increase that.